The Knoss Fellowship directly contributed to my ability to find a position by allowing me to simultaneously look for work while actually working. It was a huge learning curve, but very, you know, very challenging, but that also made it really exciting. I probably learned more about civics in that year than I ever did in you know, high school or college. The National Sea Grant Program was the result of the collaborative efforts of Senators Claiborne Pell, Athelstan Spillhaus, and John Knauss in 1966. Thirteen years later, Sea Grant's flagship internship program was established. It is called the Dean John Knauss Marine Policy Fellowship in recognition of his leadership role in the creation of Sea Grant. The notion was that we'll have a special program where the students have an opportunity to come to Washington, D.C. and work for a year. It was a great experience to be able to come to D.C. and really get a handle on how things happen at the headquarters. The Knauss is a unique fellowship in that a graduate or recently graduated student can spend one year in Washington, D.C. working on marine policy for either the legislative or executive branches of government. They take new fellows once a year, and it's called placement week. Some go down to Congress, they're legislative fellows. Some stay in Silver Spring because they're going to be talking to or listening to various government agencies who would like them to work there for a year. I did my week of placement week, and in the end I ended up with quite a few different choices for a placement. Uh, I ended up in the executive branch, so I was matched with the Office of Protected Resources and went to work in the large whale program there. I assumed I would be a better fit as a scientist for the executive branch, and so when I was placed in the legislative branch I was a little taken aback. Um, but that turned out to be a great experience, a great experience. Um, it was so different than being in graduate school. I learned so much. The strength of a Knoss Fellowship is that it does allow you that flexibility to explore things that interest you while simultaneously providing you with real world work experience. So while working, I was able to pick up things that really piqued my interest and pursue them, which led me back to Alaska. You essentially have a free pass to just type somebody an email and say, I've always wanted to know what the Director of Protected Resources does. And they open up their door to you and they'll take a half an hour to chat with you about what their job is and how they got to where they are or what you might need to do next in order to get somewhere. Well, you, know, you definitely have your work to do, but you're able to explore. I mean, it opened up these opportunities. I felt like everyone's door was, was open. Until my experience with the Knaus and actually being involved in policy making and this sort of legislative experience, I hadn't really thought about moving into the policy field at all. It was an opportunity to sort of step out of my PhD work to apply what I'd been learning in the classroom and to really think about what I wanted to accomplish in a thesis project. You know, it's just, it's just great exposure, whether it becomes a lifetime path for you or whether it's just a stepping stone. Um, it's, it's just incredible exposure in D.C. to the work that's done in the executive branch and the legislative branch. I think it was probably my second day there walking into the office. Uh, one of the staffers from Senator Stevens uh, was there in, in the office and sat down and started talking with me and he said, um, listen, we're looking at putting in a new national standard in the Magnuson Act that would uh, require that people consider the effect on fishing communities. Do you want to hel help out with that? I had no idea really what exactly was in the Magnuson Act, so I didn't really have much experience, but it was right into something. It was very politically contentious. The year before I started my fellowship, the Congress actually reauthorized the Magnuson-Stevens Act. So I actually got to write the national guidelines and establish some new standards actually for each fishery around the country to ensure that we ended overfishing while continually achieving OY. So the, the process around that was enormous, a lot of team building, and, and it was really gratifying. And, and as soon as I came to work in the region here, I was working with those same issues, actually implementing them this time, right? and, you know, taking those guidelines that we worked on and actually turning them into regional regulations. Most of my task during that year was working on a strategy with a team to develop some regulations to protect North Atlantic right whales from ship strikes on the eastern seaboard of the U.S. And for me it was very eye-opening to see how, how a regulation is built from the ground up. 
the congressional staffers prepare members of Congress for hearings or votes, and they write background papers. And I was working for a committee, so I wrote a lot of very brief two to four page documents on a particular issue, outlining the important things with some political slant in there as needed. I did this national report and it let me sort of tap into all of the different databases that are available that hold fisheries dependent data. I'll be able to apply what I learned here if I go out to the region to the Northwest Fisheries Science Center. For an Alaskan, going to Washington DC can be a big change. I think at first it, it can be a real culture shock coming from the West Coast. I, I grew up in Juneau. So for me, there was a period of adjustment there, but it was also a very, very exciting time to really be in that seat of power and be a part of so much that's happening in D.C. There's so much going on culturally, politically, obviously, scientifically, and much of it is free, much of it is just available to you. Um, so once, you know, once you're receptive to that, it's, it's a pretty incredible place to be for a while. For me, D.C. was just a, a great city to be in my late 20s, where my roommate and I always joke that everyone in D.C. is just like us. The city offers plenty of recreational activities, such as musical festivals, professional sports, classical music concerts, and sidewalk cafes. You can take walks on the mall, or go for a bike ride, or run along the Potomac River. I wouldn't say it changed my life so much as it provided me the life that I was looking for. I think it's fantastic. It really shaped my career. I knew then where I was going to go. I was going to go into academics. And Silver Spring had an opening and I was able to apply for that and it was because of my Knauss experience. I was also able to apply for the job here in Alaska. I serve as our Marine Mammal Stranding Coordinator for the state of Alaska. And I also coordinate our large whale management activities for humpback whales. Being at headquarters enabled me to understand how the system works and, and how the policy works as, as regulations are formed, move through the public process, and actually become, become law. And that's very similar to what I do today. In my position right now, I work with the Fisheries Management Council to interpret a lot of the science, the economics, pretty much everything behind an issue. And I write these documents, I interpret, I build these rationales for different arguments that are used by the decision makers to actually make a recommendation to the National Marine Fisheries Service. My fellowship allowed me the opportunity to visit council meetings as they were in session through the connections that I made during my time in Washington, D.C. And while I was able to attend council meetings, I was able to find employment after my fellowship concluded. I'm the director for Sustainable Fisheries. Uh, our branch basically manages all of the federal fisheries off of Alaska. So the day-to-day -day management in terms of opening and closing fisheries, we interact with the North Pacific Council in terms of policy development. Uh, we're responsible for developing all of the regulations that are responsible for uh, federal management. We interact regularly with the state of Alaska on various resource issues. Hi Glenn, this is Sarah with North Pacific Council staff. In terms of this job now, there are still people that I interact with who are back in D.C. or who have gone through the fellowship or whom I met when I was a fellow or were fellows with me that I still deal with on a regular basis. Well that seems to be what the we need to be making this issue. The great thing about the Canals program is it just plugs you right into a network. It plugs you right into a federal agency for a year. You have the chance to make connections. You have the chance to see what it's like. There were gatherings every week. There were you know happy hours and speakers and events and um, you know a lot of it is to give you give you the opportunity to network, but also just to create community among other. Um, like-minded professionals and um, you know there's I know that a lot of us as fellows have long-standing friendships from from that cohort that comes in together. It's really really powerful to be able to work there for a while and see how that works. That informs you far better than you ever could get uh, from a book. It's well worth it. Apply even if you're just considering it. Apply and while you're in your fellowship explore as many different avenues as possible. Don't be afraid to come and try something new. Even though Alaska has lots to offer, DC has something to provide you to. It can only help you build a, build a career if you're really passionate about what you're doing. I would completely recommend this fellowship. I think it's just a great opportunity, you know, no matter how set you are on a particular path, if you have an interest 
um, in marine work and in the policy field. Um, I, I just can't recommend it enough. The NAUS Fellowship was a neat opportunity and I can't think of anything that would have been a more valuable use of that one year. To learn more about or apply for the John A. Knauss Marine Policy Fellowship, call Alaska Sea Grant at 907-474-7086 or visit the Alaska Sea Grant website at www.alaskaseagrant.org.